I think the monk is praying inside there. Let's go do that while they're setting up. Amazing how dedicated they are to their religion. So this is Tibetan tea? Yes. Wow, it's wonderful. What does it consist of? Milk, water, and tea bag, butter, salt, a lot of milk. Thank you very much. Oh, you are welcome. Sir. So the moment you walk up into this area right here, guys, massive sewer odor and a lot of rat urine smells really bad the guys have no idea what we're about to get into all right we're going to go ahead and protect all of this here because we're going to be coming in and out with a lot of the contaminants and we do not want to affect this hardwood floor smells good right thompson yeah, that's bad does it smell like your first wife or second oh wife? no i only have one wife <laughs> oh okay she smells good that's the right answer we're going to be in some deep stuff underneath that crawl space so it looks like They were feeding the rats. That doesn't sound good. They were feeding the rats. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks like somebody oh. was feeding the rats. So we have a mouse trap. Do you want to see? I have a two okay, mouse yeah. trap. Yeah, let me see. So this is a live humane rat catch because the monks do not believe in killing anything. So if we're going to trap, we're going to have to utilize this humane one. Thank you. I want them alive. Yeah, you could see uh, a lot of rat droppings already near the uh, crawl space, check this out. Also, you can see the rat runway here on the pipe. That's their highway right there. It's a tight one, you guys. Can't do it. You can see all of this right here. Soil is very wet. That's how the rats were getting in. I'm gonna light this place up right now and then we'll start focusing on extraction. Nasty. So, so nasty. The odor is a mixture of sewer, urine, rat droppings. It's just all mixed together, you guys. It's hard to describe, but it's putrid. Not sure if there's any rats down there right now, but we'll soon find out. How are we doing? Jim, we're gonna have to use a lot of our twinzyme. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's head on down, guys. Nice little promotion right there, right? You were flawless. So the monk wants to put on a Tyvek suit and go underneath the crawl space with us. That's pretty cool. A monk going down in the crawl space with me. I feel safe now. Bad smell, huh? Very, very bad. I don't know how old is he gave to get old here. Right, that's what I was questioning. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try him there. <laughs> he made it! He made it! Good job! <laughs> You're on the team now. Yo, You're part of the you. team. <laughs> Really important to take layers off, especially with the amount of time that this has been occurring. Ew, gross. So we're setting up the humane rat trap. The idea is put the bait here. Boom. Oh, it closes up on it. So the monk's got the Skippy. Rats mm -hmm. love Skippy. The traps work better with a little peanut butter. So I just got a message from my office that a seven-year-old girl who watches our channel wants to talk to one of the twins. So I want to include you guys in this. Let's make the call. Her name is Selena. Let's see what she says. Is this Selena? Yes. Selena, this is Jim, one of the twins. Yeah. I heard you watch our channel. We do. Which one is your favorite? The tire. The tire one where all the rats are jumping out? Yeah. And what do you think about the rat dance? It's funny. 
Is it funny? Should we do more rat dances? Yes. The people that I'm working for, Selena, they don't like to catch rats with a snap trap. They like to catch them alive. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate one of the live rat cages to your name. So, let's see if we can catch one. And if we do, we're going to name the rat Selena. What do you say? Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for calling back. She's going to be thrilled now. Oh, my pleasure. When I got the message, I had to call right away. So thank you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yeah. She was waiting for the call the whole time. So she's so happy now. Oh. Thank you, guys. You're doing yeah, great job. You're doing awesome. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Bye, Selena. Bye. Wow. That was special precious we're gonna actually dedicate one of these live rat cages i'm hoping we can catch one and we'll name it selena and then my brother dave's gonna dedicate a rat dance to selena as well so awesome guys all right i'm gonna go ahead and just replace this 15 20 foot run here because i don't want them to have an issue later on so we're gonna cut it here and replace it all the way to the kitchen there Tons of grease, you guys. I think I'm oh. gonna be sick. This is so compacted with grease that there's no way we can leave that. What I'm gonna do is have them fill up the sink up above. We're gonna flush all this grease out of here before we make the connection. That's what happens when there's a lot of grease in the line. The grease stays at the bottom of the horizontal pipes and then begins to eat through with all that biofilm with the older pipe. So that's why it's imperative to maintain those drains. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set these tra main traps with the monitoring camera. I have never used one of these, you guys, so we're gonna do it the monk way. This is how monks trap rats. All right, we're making our last connection. We're running water and we are leak-free. Successfully, guys, another leak-free job. Yeah, this pipe was bad, you guys. You know, compacted that was. That's what happens when you use a lot of grease. It stays at the bottom. It starts to eat away at the bottom of that horizontal pipe. <laughs> Dirty old plumber. <laughs> at least he doesn't have a plumber's crack, guys. It's covered. You look like a dirty rat, though, Raul. Let's see what the monks eat. What are you making? Oh, making Oh, look at that. The meat. Broccoli? Oh, broccoli. Looks great. This looks delicious. All right, so this final step, we'll use the fogger, electrostatic fogger, and we'll get in there and fog all the substrates, footings, and the overall air condition of the crawl space. A few moments later. What a difference in here, huh? Yeah. It smells so much better, guys. I don't guys. have to wear my mask anymore. Right, it's so much yeah. better. So I'm gonna have Anthony, um, he agreed to sleep here tonight to yep. monitor the rat activity. I was going to get a raise. I, yeah. I appreciate that, Anthony. Mm -hmm. You will be getting a raise. Uh, <laughs> it's $200 for every live rat you catch. Every live one? Every live one, okay? Okay. okay. Lights out. Woo! Man. Nine day difference though between when we first got here versus how we left it. It's amazing how much cleaning we did today. All right, so we've got the table back, camera in place. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing. That's what, the, what it looks like at night. Nice and clean. Wow, guys, those are some angelic human beings there. It's pretty amazing. What a great experience to be able to be right there with the monk while he's praying in the morning with their, and then trying the Tibetan tea. And so just, it was an awesome experience to be able to get in here and knock this job out. So now it's just a matter of monitoring if there is any more rats left in that crawl space. And hopefully for the first time, we catch some live rats. Fingers crossed. Day two. We're back with the monks. We definitely got rid of the funk, but the rats are still migrating. In fact, that runway, that ABS pipe that we cleaned, that's their runway for sure. And they're active. They don't want anything to do with the humane rat traps. If you saw that big rat get down on ground level, kind of whisked around, didn't enter into those humane traps. That signifies the entry points have not been identified. So in today's video, we're going 
deep into that bathroom. In fact, we have no access, so we're gonna have to take that bathroom floor out is what I'm guessing. We've got a big day ahead of us. We have a llama upstairs. He comes down and eats, yeah. and we wanna know if it's okay or if, he, if the fumes or anything no. will bother him. We're good. Okay. Yeah. A llama. All right, so we're building a critical barrier inside here because we've decided that we're gonna open this up for the access, so. Oh yeah, here it is. So here's an opening here, you guys. And then right below this is all that contamination. Look at they're bringing in snails. It's like escargot. Oh, it reeks so bad, you guys. All right, we got a big day ahead of us, replacing all that piping. So I'm gonna head to the supply house, get all the materials. The guys are gonna be underneath their cutting, getting all of the cast iron out of there. And uh, we'll get back, we'll start decontaminating that soil and putting some brand new piping in. wasn't even tight. Whoa, oh, oh shoot. Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh. Horrible. I think I'm gonna throw up. The air dry right away. Oh no. We gotta stop that. <laughs> 12 seconds later. And guys, we were pushing that pipe and apparently it disconnected a water pipe or hit a water pipe, so we had to shut the water off. Trying to push it between the wood framing and the piping and it just snapped that uh, coupling where the copper and the galvanized met. So guys are under there right now fixing it. I'm gonna turn the water back on and then resume with the waste pipe replacement. Things like that happen when you're dealing with a tight, tight crawl space like that and trying to get that heavy cast iron out. It's just part of the job. I was hoping to be done with the waste system by now, but this whole water the event has really pushed us back a lot. Day three. All right, so we're gonna finalize the plumbing today. That's gonna be all brand new, upgraded with ABS pipe and fittings. And we're gonna do the final cleanup. This job's a wrap. Long day, right? Yeah, very, very satisfied, happy. Thank I give you. you five star out of five. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I really. love it. Thank you. David, can you do the rat dance? I wanna dedicate this rat dance to the monks and Selena all the way in Florida. Well guys, that was an exciting episode. We've wrapped this up, we got all the sewer, the rats taken care of. Unfortunately, we didn't catch anything in that cage for Selena, so maybe next time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.